Hello everyone and welcome to the Missouri School Boards Association's board report for the month of November. We thank you for the opportunity to share some news and information during a few minutes of your board meeting. We begin with a look at the announcement by Governor Jay Nixon that the state budget he will propose for fiscal year 2015 will make a significant down payment on fully funding the foundation formula by the end of his term as governor. Nixon made that announcement during a speech at the third general session of the 2013 MSBA annual conference. But he says increased funding means higher expectations. Just as the information economy is demanding more of our students, we've got to demand more of ourselves. We're all, we've all got to do better. And that means everybody, students and teachers, parents and principals, coaches and college presidents. That is why, as we make this historic investments in our schools, we're also continuing to implement the common core standards in our MSIP 5 system. These are tough, rigorous, but vital accountability measures that will help us build on our strengths and improve on our weaknesses. Right now, the foundation formula is about $600 million short of being fully funded. Of course, the General Assembly will have a great deal to say about the state budget and funding for education. The legislative session begins on January 8th. While America's public schools are among the best in the world, our schools need to have higher standards. That's according to Dr. Bill Daggett, the founder and chairman of the International Center for Leadership in Education. Daggett told an audience at the recent MSBA annual conference, the issue facing our schools today is ensuring that our students are college and career ready. And that, he said, will require raising standards in our schools. But, he says, the conflict between excellence and equity presents a challenge unique to American public schools. We're on this unique trip in this country to try to address excellence and equity at the exact same moment. Now, I'm going to say politically incorrect thing, and nobody wants to say it. Excellence and equity are in conflict. I can get you to excellence in a hurry. Come on with me to my next trip to China. I'll show you excellence. Let me pick and choose who I'm going to educate. I just don't want to live in that kind of world with my family. Daggett says it's critical that public schools in the United States raise standards regardless of whether or not they are the common core state standards. Well, it's no secret that schools that partner with families are more effective. But what does genuine family engagement look like? Dr. Karen Mapp is a former school administrator and current lecturer at the Harvard Graduate School of Education. And she says family engagement must be linked to learning. There's too many events that happen at school where parents leave and don't know anything more about how to help support their children's learning. And that includes sometimes parent-teacher conferences, open houses, some of the traditional family events. We're trying to repurpose those events so that they become more interactive where teachers and parents are sharing data with one another about children and teachers actually start to show families what are some of the things they can actually do at home to help support their children's learning. MAP was a presenter at the recent MSBA annual conference. She said research is clear that high levels of family engagement result in higher levels of student achievement. She said schools are sometimes not as welcoming to families as they think they are, and then they wonder why parents don't attend meetings and other school events. MSBA is now offering a new cooperative purchasing program for school districts, and there's no charge to participate. It's called Buy Board and is sponsored by MSBA in cooperation with the National School Boards Association. It allows your district to save time and money while purchasing products your school district uses every day. Contact the MSBA office if your district is interested in signing up for Buy Board. It won't be long until filing opens for the April school board elections. Filing opens this year on December 17th in most school districts in the state and on December 24th in some school districts in the Kansas City area. Citizens with a sincere interest in their community's children and quality of their education are encouraged to consider running for the school board. In order to run for the school board, a candidate must be a citizen of the United States, a resident taxpayer of the school district, a resident of Missouri for at least one year, and at least 24 years old. 
Filing this year closes on January 21st. That's it for this month's edition of the MSBA Board Report. Thanks for allowing us to have some time at your board meeting, and so long from Columbia. <music>